Hi. Um, you guys wanted to see a favorites video. Not sure why. Um, because I feel like it'll be a little bit boring. I pretty much use what my favorites are in my videos and on Instagram. So I feel like nothing will probably be that surprising. Um, I also threw some skincare and some hair care stuff in here because... I've become that bitch. I do skincare and hair care now, which, um, you know, pretty cool. So I'm going to start with the makeup, though, because I feel like that's what most of you probably care about. Um, I kind of have everything in a bucket here, so let me get my shit together and I will regroup with you in a second. Okay. Um, let's start with just skin products, first of all. Um... The NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil is discontinued, but it's my favorite right now. It's just, I don't know, it just works. I'm wearing it right now, um, and I'm also wearing the concealer that I have in here, which is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening. Um, I don't know, I've just been liking this combo. Um, the lower coverage, a little bit more dewy sort of look. Um, I'm into it, so that's what I've got. I also have this... I don't know if I was even going to put this in my favorites, but it's the spray I'm using right now. The NYX Bear With Me spray is also really good, and this is not discontinued, so that's a plus. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I can like put this stuff where it's not going to be in my way. I should put it back in the basket, but I feel like I'm going to run out of room. Um, other skin stuff. Powders. I've been really liking actually a pressed powder. I do still usually always use a loose one just to get the main thing but to finish i've been liking finishing powders so both of these uh this one's a little bit more matte this one's got a little bit more of a shiny finish um this doesn't come in any other other colors so i don't really need to show you that but this is the um ethereal light shade and i bought this like probably years ago now and i'm just starting to be like appreciating it so that's good. I don't know if I would really buy from Hourglass again. I feel like they kind of got like canceled for having shitty shade ranges, but I don't know. I don't know. Not a favorite brand, but it was something I had wanted to try for a long time. Um, I have one highlighter in here. Um, this is ColourPop Flexitarian. Nothing new, nothing fancy, but I've just been liking this. I'm kind of on the hunt for like, and I think I've found a few. I've got a few new ones I just feel like they're too new to like put in a favorites video but um just been on the search for this sort of cool tone neutral highlighter that's not too pink you know a lot of cool highlighters are like oh it's icy pink it's like no I just want like a cool silvery neutral and flexitarian is awesome for that um I have a bunch of blushes well I've got three blushes that's a bunch um, so I've just been loving, uh, you'll see with these colors, um, this is the ColourPop Cheek Dew in Tumble For Ya. Um, I really like this formula. I do have to set it, which isn't a big deal because I always set my face anyway, like I said. But, um, if I were to not set this, my hair and cat hair probably would be all over my face. But I really like this formula and specifically this color. I think there's some other colors that I would like. But, like, I just have a lot of, like, cream sort of blushes right now. And I don't need to, like, have expiring creams all over in my makeup collection. You know what I mean? Um, I also have another ColourPop one. I don't know if this really counts as a cream. But this is the Super Shock blush. I'll take the cap off so you can see it better. Well, it's got a huge thing of pan in it. You might not be able to. Yeah, I don't know. That might be the best angle for you. But this is in the shade Prenup. Um, I really like the Super Shock blushes in the satin formula. Not in, well, the matte's okay, but the, sat the satin is the best, I think. Um, and then I have a Ritual Defee um, Inner Glow Cream Pigment in the shade Desire. Like I said, a cool tone mauve pink is just kind of what I've been going for. This is actually relatively new too, but I just know that I've been loving cream blushes and I love this color, so it's a favorite already. While we're on the topic of the Inner Glow Cream Pigments, um, I've also been using the shade Intuition for my contour for 
quite a while. As you can see, it's almost used up. I have a fresh one waiting for me as soon as I use that one up. Um, lip, let's save eye stuff for last. Um, this is kind of a boring product. This, I hate to say that this is a favorite because this is way, I don't want to spend this much money on a brow gel, you guys, but it's, the color is so good. This is the NYX Thick It Stick It, um, Thickening Brow Mascara in the shade Cool Blonde. And if you're blonde and you struggle to find good blonde brow, if you're blonde and you struggle to find good blonde brow colors, I would check this line in particular out because they're really good. Like, I don't know. And I wish they had more like, like pencils and stuff that came in these same colors. They don't, well, they don't, at least not the cool blonde color because this is like a perfect color for my brows and I love it. So unfortunately I will probably be repurchasing this for like the 10 or 11 bucks that I think it is, which kind of hurts, but it's good. So I want to shout out the Black Moon Cosmetics Sinister Satin Lipsticks. This is the black one called Omen. Um, these, it's just a good formula. I love it. And I love a black lipstick. I want more colors of these. They should do more. They probably, like, they have such a good range of neutrals in the liquid lipsticks. They, it would be so amazing to have, like, a similar range of that in these bullet lipsticks. Unfortunately, I don't think people really like bullet lipsticks that much, except for maybe me. I never really see people talking about bullet lipsticks. Um, so if you like them, let me know. Let me know what um, formulas and which brands you like for bullet lipsticks. Because I just feel like everyone either is like into gloss or like a balmy thing or, you know, whatever. Um, another lipstick formula that I like is the... Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. This is a limited edition shade from last Halloween. This is called 888 or 888. Um, I'm wearing this on my lips right now with a liner and something else in the center that I tried to do, but it didn't really work. Anyway, um, these smell so good and I just, I just like them and especially this color. So that's a lip favorite. Um, also, can't do lip favorites without my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Moonwalk. It's perfect. I use it for almost every lip combo that I do. And another more longtime favorite is the NYX Butter Gloss in Cinnamon Roll. I'm going to circle around to eyes quick. I don't really have very many, like, well, I have like one palette in here. Because I've really honestly just not been that into palettes. I've been into more like single shadows are using a palette and then bringing in single shadows to kind of like amp it up. Um, but I did have to throw my Davina Eternal Night in here because I am filming a three looks with this currently. I just have one more to do and I'm not really sure what kind of look I want to do. So, <laughs> um, kind of stalling on that, but yep. If you haven't seen it, here's what it looks like. Just matte gray goodness. And the Davina formula, like, you really can't go wrong with the mattes, in my opinion. Or really any of the Davina shadows, I think. Um, and then I just popped out um, my sort of... I just... I don't know what to call this. This is, like, some of my favorite singles at the moment. I just keep them in this little palette um, to reach for. Again, when I'm using a palette and I'm like, ooh, you know what? This needs a little bit of, like, seduced from Davina or... You know, a lot of this is Davina. There's a few Sydney Grace in here, like these cool tone neutrals are mostly Sydney Grace and everything else I think is Davina. But yeah, just to give you sort of a vibe of the colors I've been going for, smoky cool tone neutrals with like some blue and green, which kind of my vibe always. I have a couple liners. Um, I've been liking a potted liner a lot. Um, so this first one, I was actually really scared to buy. Um, I didn't buy it right away when the collection released because I was like, tried those before. I didn't like them. They were dry as hell. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Color in Mineral Girl. This came out with the Of Quartz collection. They reformulated these since I last tried them and these are creamy as fuck. Like, Last time I tried one was years ago and it was so dry, like a brand new. It was so dry. 
Um, but this is really creamy. It's kind of like a smoky blue gray sort of color. So I've been really liking that. Um, also, Ritual Defeat Black Orb. I've been really liking this as well. I first got this, yeah, probably a couple years ago now. So I don't know if it's just the age that has uh, made it a little bit more um, to my liking. Or if it's just that I, um, my like preferences have changed but I've really been liking it especially for like a smoky liner look which is kind of what I've been liking so that it's probably just that my tastes have changed but I it just smokes out really good and I just generally have been liking like taking a brush and putting it in the liner and like putting it on my eye or even if I do a pencil I'll like put the pencil on it and then take a brush and use it to do the wing because I just find that's the easiest way for me to do a wing. Um, I don't remember the last time I used a liquid liner, to be honest, and I don't know if I ever will again. <laughs> oh, my battery's about to die. Hold up. Okay, I can't believe my battery even lasted that long. I've been filming for hours. Also, I'm really sorry. I'm like, when I have stuff to say and I'm on camera, I feel like I just gotta like, and I like, I'm winded from talking, which seems like it's not good or healthy. Here's another one, Urban Decay. These pencils are so expensive. But this color is great. This is um, Desperation. It's like a gray. It's a gray. But it's a gray like gunmetal but not like metallic. You know? I don't know. If you have like a dupe for this color, I would love to know. Because um, honestly, Urban Decay is like... I don't know. I feel like they need to get it together. Like they used to be so big and so cool. I remember first getting into makeup and like trying one of the naked mini basics because I was like, oh, everyone likes Urban Decay. And like even their matte formula, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like they need to get, get with the times, Urban Decay. And their weird like releasing of mini palettes that have already been palettes, like I'm not about it. Now we're on to like some shadows, some like single shadows, but more like in a stick or in a pot form as opposed to like my singles in a pan that I just showed you a second ago. Um, the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in Magnetic Pull. Um, I'm wearing that on my lid today. It's kind of covered with a bunch of other stuff, but I am wearing it. Um, it's just good. I don't know what to say. If you like a shadow in a stick form, you should check these out because there is tons of colors. I actually have more, but this one is just like... I probably should have just left it at this one because it's the perfect one for me, I think. Um, then I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Koosh. Uh, it's like a silvery, taupey sort of moment. Again, kind of just what I'm into. Try and bring it closer to you so you can see. I always think that's going to help, but it doesn't because I've got too many lights. Um, yeah, you can see it better back here. But I've just been liking it. Again, a thing I've had for a while and I've just sort of gotten into using it now. Um, and this is also on my eyes today. This is the Ritual Defee Crystalline Matter Eye Soot in Cerium. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll bring it back here. It's like a, I think they describe it as a rose water pink color and it's sort of like a glittery, flaky sort of texture. It's not like wet. And it's not completely loose. It's just kind of like, sort of like one of those half pressed sort of shadows where it's like not pressed really tight, but it's also not like loose, if you know what I mean, if you've ever had one of those. Um, last stuff I have for makeup is lashes. So I'm wearing the Casper lashes from Likely Lashes right now. Those are the first ones on my list. Um, I also have Delicate from Likely Lashes, which I can actually sort of show you up close. I've just kind of been liking the shape. I also have the Black Moon um, Cancer Lashes, which I don't know if you'll be able to see really with the box. There you go. So in case you can't tell, I like when they they have that sort of <laughs> that sort of shape going on. And I'm actually kind of getting decent at applying lashes, so that's fun. Um, let me know what lash glue you use if you do lashes, because I don't really know what a good lash glue is. I'm just using the duo, one of the duo ones. I don't even know which one it is. It's green. 
I don't know what the best one to use is. I don't know. I don't know. So if you have lash glue recommendations, let me know. Um, I do have a fragrance in here. This is the Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab Zombie. And this is like a perfume oil. Nothing can top this for me. Nothing can top this for me. It smells so good. So it smells like... It's like really... Actually in the bottle it doesn't. But it starts off sort of like... It definitely has rose in it. Like you can smell rose right away when I put it on me. And then as it sits it just kind of gets like... I don't need, it smells like you know that scene in a movie where it's like a funeral and they're like like the grave is open and it's like wet dirt because it's raining and everyone's got umbrella that's what it smells like to me it smells like a wet rainy funeral burial service and there's like flowers and roses sort of like over there you know I don't know it smells so good that's such a weird description of it, but, like, that is the mental image that it con conjures for me. It's so good. Okay, so now i got some hair care and skin care that I wanted to just throw in here. Because, again, I not something that I really did before, but I'm entering a new phase in my life. Um, and I'm trying to take better care of my hair and skin. Um, so for hair care, I've got um, some stuff from Verb. This is the Ghost prep heat protectant it's just like a I don't know like a cream I guess I don't know what you want to call it um so I use that in my hair every time I wash it I get out and I put some of this in um I don't always heat style my hair but it's good to have it in there just for moisture and then if I do need to heat style it then it's in there for heat protectant um and then I also use the ghost oil every time I get out of the shower I put a little bit of that in my hair as well just to keep it moisturized I have very um I don't know what the right word for the texture of my hair is but it's kind of like it's never been really soft and silky so like what you see right now it's about as soft and silky as it gets but these have helped with that um I just I don't know I guess one day I just decided you know what I would like to see if I could get softer hair and imagine that if you do stuff to your hair sometimes it works so uh that's all i really have for hair care i also if you can see in the background there i've got um the ghost hairspray and the dry oil i don't know i think it's for like styling your hair and like smoothing i don't, I don't even know what it's for but i got it for some reason um and then i got skin care and skincare is kind of a personal thing, so I don't want to get, I mean, hair care probably is too, so I don't want to get too, like, telling you what to buy for skincare. Um, but I've really been enjoying Versed um, as a brand. Um, this is one of my favorite things I've got from them so far. This is, like, a spray that you spray on, like, your body if you have, like, body acne. I get, like, zits and stuff, like, on my shoulders and, like, sometimes on my chest. And this helps. I swear that this actually helps. Um, it's actually really nice. So I've gone through probably like five bottles of this, to be honest. I just, again, every time I get out of the shower, spritz my shoulders, arms, and chest and back. And I mean, I still get a zit once in a while, but it's, it has cleared up a lot. Um, I've got this uh, derma, derma planing tool. I get, I'm getting like really self-conscious and feeling like I'm saying that wrong right now, but I don't think I am. Um, so you can buy this and then you can just change the head on it, which I need to do because mine I used mine and it looks all gunked up because I gunked it up. Um, but I've been liking doing this um, once a week, once every couple weeks just to exfoliate and get, you know, my baby hairs off my face. It makes my face feel, feel smooth and I enjoy the experience. Um, this is, the rest is more kind of like actual, like, skincare stuff. Um, so, I'm gonna just go in, <laughs> like, the order of, like, most helpful, I feel like the recommendations will be. So, the next most, like, helpful recommendation, I think, would be the moisturizer. 
I can't really see anyone having an issue with this moisturizer. So it's called Dew Point and it's a gel cream. Um, normally, as someone with pretty oily skin, I would stay away from anything that had the word dew in the name. But it's not, it like, it doesn't really make you, I mean, it does make you dewy because it's a moisturizer, but it's not so moisturizer. Again, it's like a gel cream. So it's a very lightweight. It's got green tea extract and aloe leaf. Um, I don't know. It's just like very inoffensive, just a very basic, nice moisturizer. Like, I don't think you could go wrong if you're looking for a moisturizer. Unless you want something super thick and heavy that's going to really, really like super moisturize your skin, then maybe that's not what you want. But if you want just a basic moisturizer, I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. Um, this one's a little bit newer to me. Everything else that I've shown you so far, I've bought multiple times. Um, this is my first time through this, but I really like this too. This is uh, more of a toner. And this is the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. So it's just a hydrating one. I think they have a brightening one too. I haven't tried that, but um, this is nice. Again, I don't want to get too preachy into like ingredients and like, you should use this because I don't know. I'm not a skincare expert. I just know that it's working for me fairly decently at least, better than not doing anything. Then I've got some serums here. So the one I use for daytime is the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. Uh, Willow Bark Extract and a Zinc Blend, I guess, is the main ingredients in here. Must have full ingredients on the box because it doesn't really say anything else on here. Um, but yeah, I guess it's supposed to just help with acne prone skin and it my skin has cleared up since I started using it so again no complaints and then I have more of a nighttime one this is the press restart gentle retinol serum um, I don't know a lot about retinol um, it says you can use this every day I don't use it every day because honestly I'm not good enough with my skincare to do my nighttime skincare every day. This is the Smooth Landing Advanced Retinoid Eye Balm. So I use this at night for my eyes instead of an eye cream because my daytime eye cream, which I actually just finished today, had vitamin C in it. Um, and I don't think you're supposed to use vitamin C and retinols at the same time. I don't really know though. And the only reason that that eye cream is not in my favorites is because I don't think I'll repurchase it. And I, I was just thinking about it, I was like, I really liked it, but honestly, if I'm not going to repurchase it, is it that much of a favorite? The thing is, it was like an expensive one. It was like $45 eye cream. It was the pharmacy cheer up, like brightening. I don't know what it's called. But it was a really nice eye cream. And it lasted me a long time, but that's because I wasn't doing my skincare consistently. And I think if I was doing my skincare consistently... I don't know if I'd want to spend $45 every time I needed a new eye cream. I think that's it. I could shout out some brushes, actually. They're all right here. This is an e.l.f. one. I think it's called... Oh, it says right on it. e.l.f. Airbrush Stipple. And this is from the Beautifully Precise Collection. Um, these are really great for, like, the Super Shock blushes or... Um, I didn't like it for the Ritual Defeat Cream Pigment, but the... Um, the cheek do, I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand and like swirl it in and I don't know. I've been liking it for like that sort of thing. So that's a good brush. What else do I got here? Um, the entire Sigma Soft Blend set is so good. Here's one of the smaller ones. They're just so good. It's, it's a soft blend. You'll get a soft blend if you use the brush. Um, oh, this is a good one. The Delium Tools Smoky eyeliner. It's a 716, I guess. Um, again, smoky eyeliner. It's really good for a smoky eyeliner. Uh, what else do I like? Oh, the e.l.f. Beautifully Precise um, Brow Brush. I don't know if it's called a brow. Oh yeah, Eyebrow Duo. Um, great brow brush if you're using like a pomade or like a powder or anything like that in your brow. I'm not really using anything like that right now, so... Um, but I do still like this as a liner brush and then it just has a spoolie on the end, which you can't go wrong with an extra spoolie. 
Uh, what else am I really into for brushes? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of the main things. So I think I made it through my whole uh, bucket of things. Um, let me know if you like any of these things as well. Um, or just what your favorites are in general. I'd love to know what you guys have been liking to use and reaching for um, within your own collections. And um, I'll see you in the next one. And if I don't, then goodbye forever. Mm -hmm.